Hello everyone, Black Eyes here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time we left off, we were fighting this craziness gym, and... Actually, let me turn my volume down just a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit less noise in my ears. Anyway, it's the double battle gym, the one that's kind of a nightmare. So hopefully we can take these guys on in one try. I think we'll be able to, but I'm not sure, because... The difficulty spikes in this game are a lot worse than I remember they were. I mean, not that it's really difficult, but just some things are like at... Yeah, like these guys are about at my level of difficulty. You see? I actually have a Pokemon that's lower level than these guys. But everyone else in the game is really, really weak and incredibly bad at everything. Alright, so we're just gonna do a Surf and... Hmm... I'll do a Swords Dance with Absol. Hopefully Absol survives this onslaught, which is no doubt going to happen. Alright, never mind. It's not really an onslaught anymore, because now Absol won't be hit by that Surf. Alright, actually, all of them are higher than me, except for Absol. That's really interesting. Alright, let's send out Cast Form, just because he's gonna die anyway. <laughs> Poor Cast Form. Sorry, guy. Uh, you're not very good at this. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> he already... Oh, wow, he actually lived. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, let's see, is there something I could do? Will Powder Snow hit both of them? Oh, it does. Alright. Hmm. Alright, actually, I'm just gonna use Cast Form's turn. I'm gonna give him a po- wait, does he need a Potion or a Super Potion? I can't really tell. I hate how they do that in Double Battles. I'm gonna give him a Super Potion to play it safe. Although, I think he could probably do with just a Potion. And... Actually, here it tells, so... Yeah, I'll give him a Super Potion, why not? And then I'll have Absol, since Absol already used Sword Stance, um, slash the Clay Doll. And hopefully, Cast Form can hang in there? Oh, probably not, though. Sorry, buddy. We had a decent strategy going with that Powder Snow technique, but, um, fortunately it didn't work out. And we're gonna send out Manetric now. That's gonna hurt. Okay, maybe I won't beat this gym after all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. What the heck, man? Alright, Absol, hang in there. Oh, wait a minute, I have to switch out. Okay, there we go. Okay, let, let's hope this, this works. Oh, that's not even close, what the heck? Alright, well that's bad. That's really bad, actually. We're probably not going to win, so... Let's try... A Blaze Kick to Clay Doll. Well... Yeah, let's Blaze Kick Clay Doll, and then... But you know what? I have to use a Potion on Absol, because Absol is like the best thing I have. Alright, um... Use a Hyper Potion on Absol if I can find any. Hyper Potion, there we go. I mean, I pretty much have to, because Absol's really my only chance of winning this. Oh man, this is really bad, though. Gotta hope for a critical hit. Alright, that's on Blaziken anyway, so that's not too bad. This is... I gotta say, this is a really... Oh no. Oh no. Well, Absol will live, Blaziken will not. Oh, wow. That is not supposed to happen. But hey, we'll take it, I guess. And, come on, critical hit. Oh, that wasn't good enough. Alright. If Blaziken can get a quick attack out on Claydol, then we can have Absol slash Zatu. There we go. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, why would that ever happen? At least we don't have to deal with an Earthquake this turn, though. Please connect. Yes. Alright. I should have seen that coming, though. That was... Okay, goodbye, Blaziken. You did good. Sort of. Alright, this is gonna be bad, especially since they have something that can confuse me. Unless it's taken out by that. No, what the heck? Alright, now th this is really starting to scare me. Why? Alright, I can take another Earthquake. I don't want to be confused, though, so let's try to slash. Okay. I'll take it. You know what? That's actually not too terrible. Well, this is. I was hoping I'd be a little bit faster than that. Alright, so my guess is we're definitely going to have to retry this gym. This is not how I pictured this episode going. I thought it'd be pretty easy, actually. Wow. 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's over. Might as well try to take something out. Let's just use a quick attack. Try to take something out. Oh, there we go. We might do it. Yeah, there we go. Take that, you mean bird. Jerk. Alright. Play dolls back. And goodbye, Absol. You fought hard. So did everyone except Electrode and Pelipper and Castform. Those guys aren't very good. But see, this is what I mean about the difficulty spikes. They're at my level, and I'm like 10 levels higher than everyone else, which is why I even have Cast Form and Electrode on my team in the first place. They don't fit in at all, so... You know what? I'm putting them back on the bench. You guys have been reassigned. Alright, um, Electrode, you're coming onto the bench. Um, I guess we can just, uh, shift. Oh wait, yeah, that does that. Okay. And Cast Form, you are also going back onto the bench for Linoon, who has a full heal for us. Alright, then let's just rearrange our party a little bit. Actually, I had a, had a really odd dream the other night, and I wanted to talk about it because it was just really weird and funny. Um, Alright, so... Okay, yeah. Anyway, the way it starts is that I was at this place that was kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese's type place, except it wasn't Chuck E. Cheese's, and I know people in America know what Chuck E. Cheese's is. I don't know if, like, people in other countries know what that is. I would guess maybe not, because that's kind of, uh... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, whatever. Chuck E. Cheese's is kind of like... I think it's an American thing. I don't know for sure, though. Anyway, it's... And if you don't know what that is, it's basically like an arcade-slash-pizza place where you eat pizza, it's a popular place for, like, birthday parties, and... Also, and let's just do one final switch here. There we go. This should be good for the gym, and I'll go to the Pokemon Center heal just in case. But, um, so yeah, you go there, eat pizza, play games, try to win prizes by getting, like, tickets and stuff, and, you know, eventually you exchange the tickets you win for a prize. Usually it's not, oh, you know, a really big prize, because, you know, they're really ridiculously hard to get. But anyway, in this dream... It was like a Chuck E. Cheese's, except it's like not really much for little kids. It's kind of more for people my age, I guess, and I'm I'm 19, so I I, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like I guess I have to go this way. Like imagine a Chuck E. Cheese, except the prizes weren't like cheap. They were like video games and stuff. Like they were literally video games. Like the prize I won was awesome. It was um I think I go this way. I don't remember the layout of this place. Dang it. The prize I won doesn't actually exist, unfortunately, but it was a Nintendo 3DS remake of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and I won it with my tickets, but the way I got these tickets was really weird. There was, like, rides at this one, and you could win tickets by going on rides, and I have to do the whole dang puzzle again, that's not fair. You can win tickets by going on the rides, and... You know, normally that's not something that happens at Chuck E. Cheese's. But, um, for some reason it did this time. And... I'm gonna have to go out and do the green one again, so let's get out of the here. But here's the catch. I mean, it's not just that you get it if you go on the ride. No, you get the tickets, and you get a ton of them if you survive the ride. So it's just like, oh yeah, if you survive, you get this many tickets, and I never battled this guy, really? Anyway, and it was kind of weird, because everyone's just like, oh yeah, uh, it's normal. No, nothing weird about surviving a ride to get tickets, and I was like forced onto this ride twice. Thank goodness I survived. But um, it was just so weird. Uh, let's just do headbutts, I guess. Because what kind of twisted arcade pizza place makes it so that you have to survive in order to win tickets. I risked my life to get these stupid tickets just to get a game. Twice. And what the ride was, it was this really weird thing. I don't know exactly what it was, but you got on it, and there were, like, these harnesses you could, you know, like, strap yourself in for safety. Except you were timed on, like... Okay, there's the green one. And, yeah, that should do it. You were timed in, like, how much time you had to actually go and get into the harness, so... Basically, it's a race against the clock. If you get in the harness in time, you have a good chance of surviving. I did not. I found this, like, little part of a wall that kind of had, like, a... It was like a 
place where you can kind of put your hand. I don't know if it was intended to be there for the ride or if it was actually just coincidence that something like that was there. But I grab the handhold and with one hand, and basically this thing, it flings you around and it dies, or I mean, it kills you from like, I guess, throwing you somewhere and you just like, you know, die from landing or something. Or is Lionune hurt at all? I didn't think so. Okay. See what I mean? That trainer is like really easy. These guys aren't. But anyway, um. Where was I? Oh, yeah. It like kills you by like, flinging you in. I don't remember if it was enclosed or not, and if you got like flung against the ceiling and the walls, or if you just got flung and, you know, like Team Rocket blasting off or something like that. I don't remember how it was, but I didn't die. And. I was either the only one on that ride or the only one who survived. I don't remember, but it was kind of scary. It's kind of a weird thought. Um, you know, let's get the Claydol out of here because he's really annoying. Now let's do Surf. Wow, that did nothing. And hopefully Linoon is okay with the Surf. But yeah, that was my dream, and it was just really bizarre, odd, and kind of scary when you think about it. That Claydol is tough, man. I have to do the same combo again. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I don't get hit by my own Surf. Not anymore. And I have confirmed that in X and Y, you do indeed get hit by your own Surf. Which is the way it should be, but whatever. Um, I'll take it in this game. It's pretty helpful, actually. Alright, Claydol's down. That's good. Alright, who's next? Who's next in line? Lunatone. Okay, um... Let's... I kind of want to use Rock Smash, but I don't remember what type Lunatone is, so I'll just continue my strategy. Except I'll he headbutt the bird this time, because I don't want it using, like, Super Sonic or anything. Alright, Psychic. Alright. Lynoon, you fought hard. Did good. Good lead. I like it. Alright, let's switch to Mightyana. It's actually good to have my abundance of Dark Types here, because they can't use their Psychic powers on me if I'm a Dark Type. I guess this helps, too. But, uh, yeah, have you guys ever had a dream like that before, where... I mean, not necessarily the same concept, but just like a... A dream that makes absolutely no sense at all. But, like, actually, I guess most dreams are like that, where they just, like, make no sense, but... You know, in the dream world, it's perfectly fine, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how that works, you know. Why wouldn't it work a different way? Or why would it work a different way, I should say. I don't know, it was just... bizarre really funny. I hope to have some other crazy dreams like that some other time, because, I mean, I almost, I mean, when I woke up, it wasn't like it was a scary dream, and it wasn't, like, really funny or anything. It was just, did I really just dream that? Like, is that what happened? Why am I dreaming this? That, that was my thoughts, anyway. Alright, so Lunatone has a lot more defense than Soul Rock. Or special defense, anyway. I guess Bite would be the best thing to use. Let's take out the Lunatone if we can. So they're like Psychic Rock types, I'm guessing. Although, Soul Rock can definitely use Fire type attacks. Maybe that's just he can use those attacks, and maybe he's not really a Fire type. I don't think he's a Fire type, but let's set out the next in line. Alright, well, if Absol comes out, I can. Well, that won't be for a while, but when Absol comes out, if that happens. This won't be too bad. Oh, they both have bite. Perfect. I hope we can get a flinch, too. That'd be pretty nice. Well, that works, too. I'll take that. Alright, and a level up. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. Alright, Soul Rock's using his last resort. He's using Sunny Day so he can just flamethrower us to death. But we're not gonna let that happen. I don't think two bites will finish him off, but I think we can at least get a flinch and then finish him off. But we'll see. One. Two. Oh wow, it did finish him off. Oh, well, that was a crit though, that doesn't count. But hey, I'll take it. Thank you very much, guys. And see what I mean. I get the rest of those things to my team, and I like, mop the floor with these guys, even though they're my level. It's like, I don't know. This game's too easy, but at the same time, when you try to compensate for that, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, well, this is 
kind of hard now. And it's not hard as in it's challenging. It's hard as in, you know, you gotta get lucky and hopefully get a crit or someone misses you and... Calm Mind, that's a pretty good move, but I'm not gonna teach it to anything. Because we don't need that. Usually those types of moves aren't very good in just the regular single-player mode. But, you know, for competitive battling, that's really good. I actually have Calm Mind on my Sylveon. Because my Sylveon's a freaking beastly tank thing, and it's, like, weird. The little fairy Eevee evolution thing. I've taken down, like, legendary Pokémon with it. And, I mean, it is Eevee trained. I haven't bred for IVs, and I don't really know what its nature is, but... I think it actually has a good nature. But I Eevee trained it in, like, special defense, special attack, and... HP or something like that? I don't remember. Yeah, I think that's what it did. I don't think I... Yeah, that seems about right. Wait a minute, who was that? That seems like it could have been important. Oh, oh well. Uh, someone called me, I just ignore it now. Alright, um... Let's just do a little switch here. And I guess there's nothing here for... Oh, wait a minute, the space station. Oh, and I was informed about this house. Um, I think it's this one. And if it's not, it's the one next to it. Okay, it's the one next to it. But, um, if you go in here... Right here. There's a Pokemon on the table, it's Beldum. I was wrong about it in many ways. First of all, it's level 5 when you get it, so it wouldn't have really been too useful anyway. And second of all, I think you have to beat the Elite Four to get- Oh, these guys are here. Great. Alright, Magma guys, I'm following you. So, um, I forgot exactly who told me that. Oh, I forget your name. I'm sorry, but thank you for, uh, letting me know, because, you know, I would have been sitting here figuring it out, like, I would have gone back, like, where is my Pokemon? I beat the gym, I should have my Pokemon. Then I would have thought I'd get it after I defeat these Magma guys, which I, I believe they're all going in here, but I, I don't know. Yeah, they're definitely in here. Do I have to battle them? Yes, I have to battle them. And this guy's gonna sit down while battling me, I guess. What a weirdo. I mean, who sits when they do a Pokemon battle? And if you can see the- oh, it's a girl. Well, it, it, either way, you can see in the picture she's clearly standing up, not sitting down, as previously we saw in the overworld. And now look, these magma traders are really weak. Almost 10 levels lower. They're actually 8 levels lower. But either way, look at that. One hit. Now, if this game made any sense whatsoever, well, it, I guess no, I shouldn't necessarily say that, but they could at least have it so they're, I don't know, level 38? Because the gym leader is level 41. And since they are gym leaders, let's give them credit, they get a little bit more powerful Pokemon, but I don't know, it shouldn't be that much of a difference. Because I'm basically gym leader level, and look, look at how much I'm destroying them. It should be like, maybe they're level 38, they're slightly weaker than the gym leader, but not too much, because that would make the game too easy, which is, is the case right now. So, I don't... It's really hard to, like, artificially... Are all you guys... I don't know if these scientists are on our side. Yeah, let's check on them. How are you guys doing? Alright, Space Center. Yeah, Rocket Launch. Kerbal Space Program. Uh, Haywire. Rocket Launch. Alright, cool. Wait, we have that technology in Pokemon World? Oh, whatever. Giant chunk of metal. Meteors. Uh, spoiling Dreams. Team Aqua. Wait, whoa! Okay, this person is a rebel over there. We got a Team Aqua supporter. I mean... Oh, well, thanks for the Sunstone guy. I, I guess it's good they checked on these guys. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I hate Team Magma as much as the next guy, but... I mean, Team Aqua wants to drown you all, so have fun with that. I mean, either way, we all die. I've explained this several times through several videos. Both of these criminal organizations are very misguided, and they have not thought out the consequences of their actions. They're a bunch of idiots, basically. Hey, let's flood the world, because water is great, and we are pirates. Yar har fiddle dee dee. That, that's Team Aqua, and Team Magma's like, well, I hate water, let's make everything land. Like, okay, well, then you'll, you'll die, because there's, you can't have life without water. So, y you know, I don't know. I mean, if I could just talk to these people, I mean, if I could just sit down and talk to them, or talk to their leaders or something, without having to battle like this every time, then maybe I could talk them out of it. I think I, I think I probably could. But I mean, you know, that would obviously ruin the game. So I'm not gonna do that. 
Although, I mean, it would be kind of cool if you could, like, join them, take over, and then once you become the leader, like, completely disregard their objective and basically use them to accomplish whatever. Okay, no one gets past you. Yeah, except you'll move out of the way right when I beat you. Okay. You're a very good guard. I mean, I mean, Im imagine. If you were, like, you know, trying to break into something, which I technically kind of am, although it's not really theirs to break into. But imagine you're trying to break into something, and a police officer stops and say, Stop! No trespassing! Unless you can beat me in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> You'd be the worst officer ever. I mean, that'd be like, hey, you can't steal that. Unless you could beat me in a Pokemon battle. Or, hey, you murdered that guy. You're not getting away with this. Unless you can beat me in a Pokemon battle. Like, they're the worst people ever. And, I guess these guys aren't police, but they're doing kind of the same thing. Like, you can't get up there. Unless you beat me in a Pokemon battle, then I'll move right out of the way and you can do whatever you want. And that begs the question, why give powers like this to, like, ten-year-old kids? I mean, sure, I'm using my powers for good, but I'm a really powerful trainer and I could just as easily use my powers to create my own criminal organization. Okay, um, that's not good. Swagger's gonna make me confused and have my attack sharply rise. If I can hit him, this should end the battle, I think. So then it wouldn't be too bad. Nope. Oh wait, that actually wasn't too terrible. I thought I'd lose a lot more than that, but hey, whatever. Come on, Linoon, you can hit him. Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe you're just as dumb as these guys. Oh, well, thank you! Are these guys... And look, level 28. But are these guys really that stupid? I was in a vulnerable position, and now they made it so that I could easily just win. Well, you know, assuming I could hit them, but... Okay, okay, now they're kind of... somewhat not really getting anywhere. But the... I mean, if he uses Roar again, I'll be thankful for that, because now I won't be confused, and, you know, I'll have a better chance of defeating him. Alright, goodbye, you lose. Powered up twice takedown, that's gonna hurt. Alright, I think we're done with this battle. If not, I'll switch out to Linoon. Okay, no. Okay, so yeah, I'll switch out for like one of the first time probably in the series. I usually don't switch out too much. I don't like to. But I know sometimes it's best to. I mean, maybe not in this case, but... There's definitely cases where it's best to switch out. Just like when I'm battling someone competitively, I... I like to stay with what I have unless it's a huge difference. Like, say I had a Grass-type Pokémon and they have an Electric-type Pokémon. I don't really feel the need to switch out to like a ground type Pokemon to counter that. I think I could. I mean, maybe that's not the best example, but if I had like a water type and they had an electric type, um, yeah, we'll take you on. Um, yeah, if I had a water type, then I would switch out because, you know, water cannot really defeat electric, and electric would destroy me, and ground's immune to electric, and also very effective against it, but. I don't know, normally, like, if... I wouldn't switch out just to get a type advantage. I would only switch out if I was at a disadvantage myself. Even then, I really don't like to. That, but I don't know why. That's just the way I battle, and it's... Who knows, it's probably wrong. You competitive battlers are out there... I can't even talk. Competitive battlers out there... I mean, tell me if I'm, like, right or wrong in doing that. I'm probably not right, but I don't know. It's just my style, I guess. And whether that's my downfall or not, I, I guess we... Oh, dang it, I used the wrong attack. Hey, I'll take that, though. Thanks. Alright, that works, too. Thanks. These guys are so nice to me today. Making it real, real easy on me. I guess it must have been because, you know, that gym, we actually lost to that the first time. Although I kind of had a pretty makeshift team. I had a bunch of guys that should have been on the bench that weren't. And see, these guys all have one Pokemon each, that's their downfall. If they had at least three or four each, then they would be, you know, a force to be reckoned with. But now? Mm-mm. Oh, pushovers. Well, I, if I would... And they're benefiting from me using the wrong attack every time. Okay, I gotta keep my fingers on the right arrows. Alright, now it's gonna be one hit. There we go. Okay. Jeez, I mean, 
they have nothing but luck to thank for the fact that, well, luck and my partial stupidity, that the fact that they lasted more than two turns, or two turns or more, I should say. All right, so here's Steven. We don't need to help you, do we? Uh, we shouldn't. You're the Elite Four champion, but, um... Wait a minute, what the heck? Did you just hit him? <laughs> What's going on? Um... Oh, I don't need to help you, but yeah, I'm ready. Oh, and I... Okay, I can't use them all, apparently. I'll stick with Linoon, and then I'll go with, uh, Blazekin, and then Absol. Um, okay, what the heck is this? Is that just showing me his team? Because his team's better than mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Although he's got a lot of steel in his team, so maybe not. Yeah, that came erupt could be pretty bad for him. Not for me, though. I'll, I'll be alright. For the most part, anyway. That's gonna be a little annoying, though. Oh, you and your clear body. Come on. And as you can see, the Elite Four Champion's already cheating. And he's not using very... He just used that on... Oh, I thought that was him. I was gonna say, if he just used that on me, what a jerk, first of all. And second of all, that's just dumb. Alright. But sometimes that kind of stuff happens. I don't know why, but... Like, for example, I was watching uh, Rob play uh, Pokemon Volt White, except it was, uh... It was, like hacked, I guess, to make everything either a double or triple battle, and that kind of messed with the AI, and, you know, their trainers would use their Pokemon to attack their own Pokemon, and sometimes it made him win. It was just so funny. I mean, especially when he's about to lose, or at least have, like, a team wipe or something, and then, all of a sudden, they attack themselves, and it's just... Yeah, whatever. Um... I don't know, it's just hilarious. Or at least I thought it was. At, at the time, it is. I don't know if you guys watch him, but he's, he's a pretty good uh, Pokemon player. Really entertaining, that's for sure. Alright, I think Camerup just killed himself. No, apparently he doesn't take recoil damage. He's too good for that, I guess. Let's just give him a cut. Dang it, he got me again. Alright, and this battle is taking longer than I thought. I didn't actually expect... I thought we didn't battle them this time, but whatever. Stop doing that. Oh, my teammate is an idiot. I could have taken these guys both on and been fine. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I should have gotten Pelipper. I am an idiot for not doing that. Alright, Lion Dude, I might have to switch you out because. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, I'll just leave you out there. You're fine. Well, okay, maybe he's not fine. Alright, uh, who should we send out? Well, I guess we should send out. Wait, I could use his Pokemon? Oh, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. I don't even know why he gives the option. Alright, Blaziken, go in there and just destroy them all. Right. Wow, wow, that was really good. Oh yeah, because he got swagger used on him. Alright. I'm gonna go for the one on the on my right with a dynamic punch, because that's a really cool attack. Problem is it's got really low accuracy. Oh come on, stop using that on me. Alright, Matt Tang. Alright, his Pokemon should be able to just sweep them pretty much because. He's, oh, his attack's going even higher. So his attack is up at least three stages. I don't know if it went up even before due to another metal, uh, metal claw. But I don't know. This guy's pretty strong now. Right, let's try this again. I really want to do dynamic punch. It's, I don't, actually, I don't remember if it's a cool attack in this game. And that's kind of why I want the Mighty Anna to be gone, so it stops using scary face and swagger, because it's really annoying. He's going for the goal bat. I wouldn't be surprised... Oh, almost. I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if he one-shot it. <sighs> this is going to be annoying. Stupid Mighty Anna. And that might be it for Blaziken. Wow. Oh yeah, critical hit. That's why. 
So the Elite Four champ is uh, basically showing me up. He's making me look like a fool because he hasn't lost one Pokemon and I've lost two already. Hey, you can't... I just got out. Whatever. I'm not going to use anything else but attacks anyway. Wow, his attack is so high right now. Alright, um, let's just get this over with. You're gone. Don't even try. Yeah, you're going to get one shot by the Metal Claw anyway. That's why Metang is pretty awesome. I'd love to have one on my team, but... Can't get it until I beat the Elite Four, unfortunately. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'll take that. Increased attack and... Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe these guys are getting a little tougher, but... I don't know, these are like boss trainers. The regular trainers aren't that tough. Oh, he still has two more? Come on. This is really annoying now. Oh, man. You're making my battle take way too long, you jerks. Alright, Metal Claw should finish him off, even though it won't be very effective. Alright, you got one more left. Make it count. Actually, don't make it count. Just stop trying. Please. Ooh, he's got a Crobat. That's pretty cool. Too bad it's gonna go. Oh, wow. That attacks both of us. Alright, well, too bad. He's gonna lose anyway. Okay, you better one-shot him, guy. Yep. Yeah, he's really good. I all of a sudden don't want to face this guy anymore. All I want, I just want to expand the landmass. Yeah, you're an idiot. I'm with our leader. Well, that's because you don't know how to think for yourself. Push over, jerk. Anyway, we failed to make this volcano erupt. We failed to control Groudon after we awoke it. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? I just said that in this video. I literally said that same phrase, that you're misguided. If, if we Team Magma are wrong, then might Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? I also said that. Yes, it is. And that's not just because I played this game before. I don't even remember this point of the game. Alright, we will give up on the fuel. There appear to be more important matters that I must examine. Ooh, that was too tense. Black Ice, thank you. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I have something to give you as thanks for your support. You did all the work. Oh, wait a minute. He said please come to his home to get it. Oh, wait, he might be giving me the Pokemon now. Or maybe I... Maybe the thing I remember from whoever said that you get him after the Elite Four. Maybe I'm not remembering that right. Maybe maybe you don't get it after the Elite Four. Or maybe he didn't say that, I mean. But I'll have to go check real quick. And if it is that, then, you know, forget it. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh yeah, it's over here. Because I do have to end the episode, like, really, really soon. I just want to double check. Okay, I don't think it is. Alright, 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 goodbye. HM, oh, it's an HM, okay, it's HM08. I, I don't remember what HM08 is in this game. Oh, he's Surf Dark. Oh, it's Dive, okay. So now I can go dive for treasures like that one guy said. Like a real pirate. Actually, pirates don't dive, I guess. Well, anyway, that's gonna do it for me for today. Sorry for the longer episode than normal. I didn't expect to run into all that trouble, but thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.